always get it wrong. Even in Ireland. In Ireland, they always get it wrong. And it's pronounced Chamney, but I've heard it Chamney, Shamney, Shamney. In Ireland, like, you'd think in my own country they would know my name, but I guess I'm just not, I'm not popular enough. If you run bad, they would say Shamely. I, yeah, shame, shamefully, yeah. I, I don't really run too bad most of the time, touch wood. But, uh, yeah, mo uh, I don't know. That's part of that, uh, what is it, uh, job hazard, having an unusual name that everyone gets it wrong. Even if you run well or bad, they, they always get it wrong. So. So what's the, the best name to call you if you do, if you do it short? Cham? Cham. <laughs> I don't know, most people call me Madra, which is Irish for dog. <laughs> they call me the dog, yeah. So that's my nickname. So how did you, how did you get that nickname? Oh, that's a long story. I can't uh, go into the details. Um, but uh, it, my old training partner, he started calling me Madra because if people hear your nickname is the dog, then they jump to assumptions. But this ni nickname, is it, is it meant to be for on the track or outside the track? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, <laughs> I've dug myself a hole now. Um, I don't even know where I got the nickname, in fairness. I think just, I kind of have a loud personality, so they started calling me the dog. It really isn't to do with running, it's more to do with my social life, I suppose. <laughs> what kind of athlete are you? Uh, I suppose persistent. Like, I wouldn't have been very good as a junior, I didn't. I went to European Juniors, but I didn't like win anything, I never really won anything, and then it was more when I got into my 20s, like I, I just stuck, stuck training hard and kept improving slowly, and now... I mean, I had a good year last year, so uh, I'd say persistent would be probably my the kind of athlete I am. And it would have been easy to quit, like when I was 17, 18, 19, when maybe I might have had other pursuits or uh, my social life. I put that to one side and focused on my athletics, and slowly but surely I got to a decent level. So that's probably how I would describe myself as an athlete. Because um, you 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 are an 800 meter runner. Last year you did a nice 1500 meter. Did you expect the 337? Well, to be honest, like last last year, I got injured, so my coach was like, "Oh, we're going to run." Um, like we didn't really get a chance to do much 800 meter training, so we were like, "Oh, we'll run the 1500 and see." Just you're not going to have a good season, like you're going to run awful, pretty much. So I was like, "Oh no, I'm not going to run any 800s. I'm going to focus on 1500 and try and run, you know, 340, 341." And then like, I went to my first 800 and ran 146, and I was like, like. My coach was like, oh, before the race, he was like, oh, if you run 149, like, that'd be really good because you haven't done any speed work at all, zero. I was like, yeah, 149 would be good. And then, like, I ran 146 and finished second, and I was like, that was a miracle. I was like, thank you. And then, then I went to Oslo, I ran 145, and then, yeah, then I ran 337. So I don't really know how I managed to run any of those times. It was an out-of-body experience. Somehow, training just clicked, and... I don't know. I, just, I ran fast in the eight, and then yeah, I ran fast in the fifteen, and just, that was it. <laughs> but I don't know how. Don't ask me. <laughs> well, you trained a little bit. I did a little bit. You know, I came out to Monte Gordo. I said I had to work on my tan. You know, come away, put the oil on, just sit out on the beach. So that's I, I. I probably should attribute a lot of my success to coming coming to Monte Gordo and working on my tan. It's not about running fast. It's always about looking good. That's my motto. <laughs> Well, if you want to look good in Barcelona, what will you do? Uh, I'll have to go to the tanning beds after uh, after once I go back to Ireland. We don't get weather like this, but uh, I know Barcelona will be fun. Uh, I used to train there many years ago. I went to learn Spanish, and I ended up training with a group in Barcelona. So I know a lot of the guys, like Jose Luis Blanco, the steepler, and Reyes Estevez, and Miguel Casada. Like the, they're all from Catalonia. Like they're all from the Barcelona area. So I know all those guys pretty well, and. Uh, I know the city pretty well, and oh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be good. It should be a good trip. Are you going before Barcelona also to to Spain to prepare? Yeah, I, I have a myself and my training coordinator. Uh, we'll go to Barcelona for two weeks before the championships and train there, and then uh, I think if I run 1500, I'll go to the hotel maybe the night before, or two nights before, and then fingers crossed, I run okay. What, what is okay for you? Because you are in, in, in top eight uh, on the European list? Yeah, well, I'm ranked fifth in the 800, but right now I think I'm going to run the 1500 at the championships. And I'm not, I think I'm ranked 12th or maybe, I don't know, 15th. I'm not ranked as high, but uh, I think if I can make the final, that would be good. Uh, anytime I go to a championships, I always make up the numbers. So hopefully uh, this year I can 
like last year I ran really well like every race I ran really well until I got to Berlin and th then I picked up a little injury and just didn't things didn't go right at the at the right time so I think when you go to a championship it's like everyone has to go perfectly really if you're going to perform at your highest and Berlin didn't wasn't a good experience but hopefully now in Barcelona I can get it right I have all the standards already so I just I can peak hopefully at the right time and get to pick and choose what races I do instead like last year I got a bit excited because I went to Oslo and finished third and I was like oh like then I went to Monte Carlo and man, I was like oh this is class like I'm living the dream like in casinos and everything but I probably should have gone home and gone to bed or something but uh it didn't went well in the casinos <sighs> man the worst see in Ireland right the, Ch the Cheltenham horse racing festival is always a big festival and uh I lost a lot of money this year on the horses, so I've, I've had to put that to one side for for this season and hold on. We're in a recession; like I have to <laughs> hold on to my money. But uh, no, I didn't lose that much in Monaco in the casino. I won't reveal the exact number, but it wasn't too bad. I've lost I've lost worse on other occasions. <laughs> you better keep it to running. I think so. I don't need to be very good at anything other than running. <laughs> Run, running a straight line and turn left is pretty much the only thing I can do. Gam gambling is not 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 one of my skills. But back to the the fifteen hundred. Why do you choose for fifteen hundred this season? Um, I don't know. Just I think uh, the eight hundred at European level is really really difficult. I mean, you've Bram Sam, Aachen, Lewandowski, Borjakovsky, all the Spanish guys. So any one of ten or twelve people, I could probably win a medal. Michael Rimmer, uh, all those guys are really good. So I think it's a bit more of a lottery. Whereas in the fifteen hundred, there's maybe five or six guys that are really good but behind that there might be a little there's a lot of like guys like me like 337 to 340 type guys like that can look to finish in the top five or six and once you're in the final you never know I think with 145 closing speed like I'd have a good chance in a slow championship race to close hard over the last 400 meters so I think if I want to do well I think I have a better chance in the 1500 but I'll still race 800 I still want to run PBs in the 800 but I think for the European Championships and if you look at the, the level of middle distance running in Europe the, the 800 is a little bit deeper than the than the 1500 so Did you change this winter for to the 1500? No I mean, yeah, like I said this year we just did a lot more um, uh, mileage I suppose a lot more kilometres but not we didn't really change it a whole lot I ran cross country f for the first time since I was a boy and I was fifth at the Irish 12k cross country championships which I was pretty happy with and then I ran a 3k indoors which I'd never done I ran 8.11 and I won that race by 8 or 9 seconds so I think I could have run under 8 minutes if I'd been in a fast fast race so we just we didn't really run much indoors this year you know we didn't um, we just ran mileage and worked on strength and did some cross country so I s training is apparently going well I don't know my coaches say that it's going well so I listen to them but we'll find out in a few weeks when I have to go race What was the program today? Uh, today we did 10, two, 10 200s off a uh, minute rest, so it was pretty easy, it was like 26, I think we started at 27 and ran. we probably averaged 26.4, 26.5, but uh, we had a hard session on Monday and then we have another hard session on Friday, so this today is not not that difficult, just a little bit of light, my coach calls it light speed, you know, just a li little bit of turnover, so it was, it was fun, it's always nice that when it's sunny in Ireland it's raining, so it's better out here.